Hello everyone and welcome to December Daily Day 4. For this spread, I chose to use the Remember paper to document four things that I want to remember about Christmas right now. And so I really, really enjoyed just having a play around with creating a transparent pocket to adhere to this page and um, I just wanted the remember to be at the top of the page and so I started by trimming down the paper to frame the words remember and then uh, adding on the acetate below but making sure that it remained the full 8.25 8.25 inches and so it takes a little bit of engineering um, but I wanted to have the both the front and the back of the pocket to be transparent um, so what I ended up doing is cutting the acetate down to about um, 2.5 or 2.75 inches and so you'll see this part of the video is me just working through that I create two flaps um, which is kind of like um, I guess quarter inch all around or half inch if you want it to be a bit more secure and then folding those areas back And I end up as well just ensuring that the scored um, portions of it could really and truly um, take the tag tucked behind. Um, So I know it's it's quite a bit but I use my bone folder to make sure that I get some smooth um, lines happening and I realize that I have forgotten to cut the back so I start afresh with another piece of acetate and I ensure that I have at least a half inch of a fold to the back so that the tags can tuck into the bottom part of the pocket and again just some engineering happening um, and trying to figure out you know at how to attach the acetate to the paper now that it is cut to the right size and so I end up thinking that washi would be cute and then I um, wanting to have like a kind of stripe line just to break up the acetate part so I end up attaching some layers of washi tape to the acetate I really love this gold just plain foil washi tape that was in this year's main kit and so now I'm using this clear ruler from Tim Holtz which has been really really helpful with the grid to layer the washi onto the acetate um, straight and so that is helping me along with the grid from the paper pad or the mat that I have behind and so I decide that I'm not just gonna do the gold here I'm gonna add the black and white as well it's just a really lovely um, black and white washi tape from the kit and there are some lyrics as well of Christmas songs which is really cute and so I decided that I want to leave a space about 0.125 inches um, between the tape so that you have that picky peekaboo effect of the tags when I do place them into the pocket And so this um, came together quite nicely once I got a hang of what I wanted to happen as well because the acetate is 11 by eight and a half inches um, it's letter sized so and the paper from the main kit was also 11 by about 8.25 ish Um, I didn't have extra paper to fold so in the first acetate I did a 0.25 fold and it was a bit too short um so what I ended up doing was just leaving it um 
with no flap on either side and then adhering it directly to the paper um, with the acetate as the parts of the pocket that keeps it together um, so i hope you can see what i'm doing i also attached the excess piece of green below to get some extra backing for the pocket to be attached to and i use some double-sided tape for that and then i proceed to attach the acetate to the lower part of this paper as well so i'm just making sure everything is in place i am leaving um this bit so you can see how i kind of work through the process of engineering this i believe it's the first time i've tried to like break up a page and add a complete pocket below um so as opposed to adding a transparent pocket on top of a piece of paper or acetate or vellum so the entire base is acetate um, and i'm just making sure that it is attached firmly um, and i'm ensuring that the washi tape um, is secure enough to keep the tags in place and it has worked really well because i made this um, foundation page probably in november um and so i can report that now it's december the tags have stayed in place and so it is um, a pretty film bit of engineering that has happened because i have maneuvered my album is quite a bit you know making foundation pages and whatnot so now i'm ensuring that the washi is sh as straight as possible um and as neatly laid down as possible um the back would probably be covered um by a photo for my next page but i want to do the photo to just the um width of the lower just the width of the solid paper and leave that peekaboo effect going through to the next side of the page as well so we'll see how that goes once my day five story starts coming together because i haven't started working on the story itself yet even though i do have the foundation page done so once i have figured out how to adhere the washi tape um in a straight line and ensure that the pocket of the acetate still stays straight the grid from the um, paper mat really does help with that um so once that is all done and um worked out um i actually end up here yeah, reinforcing it with some green paper here so it's good that i still have those strips and um yeah once that's all worked out then i can move on to creating the rest of the page So now I'm just pulling out some black cardstock to make a few tags for this page. I am going to use some texture paste for the tags, but I decided to cut them down to two inches across by three inches down. And then I decide to use this stencil from this year's offering. I'm using this cosmic um shimmer piece which i really love it's a nice kind of pearl with a gold shimmer so it looks really 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 beautiful kind of ivory-ish um when it's done and so i'm just going to cover this because this stencil is about four inches wide it's the perfect um with to have it going straight across these two tags so it looks like a continuous pattern and then uh, i am leaving that to dry once i smooth over the piece and scoop up the excess and put it back into the jar now this is one of my favorite texture piece to use um, and it doesn't take too long to dry so i just go ahead and leave that um, there to dry for uh, probably a couple hours um, just to be sure that it is completely dry and 
then once those are dry i continue to cut it down using my the works tool um which really gives me a nice even tag cut there's a tag um component or a tag cutting grid for this particular um tool and it really helps to just get even cuts um for the tags so i'm doing that for all four tags and my idea is to have the two tags with the texture piece above with one of them having the rubber tag um on top of it i really love the rubber tags this year they're cute and tiny and i felt like this tree one was perfect for the green spread and so i'm going to create four little tag booklets with these um pieces of black cardstock i'm going to have photos and journaling attached to each one of them so there are four booklets four things i want to remember a photo for each one of those things and so i would also also have in my final layout one with a photo facing forward journaling facing forward um, so you have just a bit of different dimension or texture added to each one so I'm using the quarter um, inch punch or size punch for this one and I am choosing now some of my favorite green ribbons to add to this spread and once this is done then the foundation of the page is done and I can go on and choose my journaling and so forth so it is a process of choosing the ribbons I kind of like there to be a bit of you know different textures different patterns just to add some interest because the page is a complete solid dark green so I'm using these patterns and textures to just add some dimension to the page and I'm going through my green ribbon stash I probably just got quite a few new rolls of green ribbon um, arriving just as I started this spread so it was perfect timing to just go through these I'm opening a lot of them up new um, and then just going through the process of that so I'd probably leave um, some of this that you can see my process of choosing ribbons and then continue on to putting the final spread together so you can see i chose a really thick um may arts chevron type ribbon to start and then i went on to do some really fine um satin thread mixed with some jute i've been wanting some of that very thin jute twine for a long time and so i'm overly excited that i have some and these actually have some gold and silver glitter thread in the middle of it so it's actually quite cute for fine detail i'm leaving the rubber tag over the pocket just to add some interest as well and then i end up choosing uh, my a gin um, ribbon as well as a gold thread ribbon so I'm working through which ones I want the best and it's so hard I feel like a lot of my time is spent just going through ribbon stashes and opening new rolls of ribbon so once I have those in, I adhere my number four down. I'm using a red line tape that's about almost 0 0.5 inches. And I prefer this um, to my fabric tacky glue. I do need to use my tweezers to get off the back of the red tape most times um, but once that is done it stays in place really well and it doesn't give you know the bubbles that you can sometimes get when using a liquid glue and so once I have the number four aligned between that M and the R perfectly I have a complete foundation page and now I can add in the tags and so I have my photos and journaling um, sized to 2 by 3 I did it in Canva and I am just cutting these down to the size and also I had to ensure that the photos there were there was enough white space to the top 
so that when I do cut off the edges to make the tag shape that you know heads and shoulders and whatnot won't cut off um in a way that looks strange so that's something that I always have to keep in mind when I am going to cut photos down to a certain shape or a certain size I'm ensuring that they line up pretty well to the black tags and I am just going to go through that process for all the photos and all the journaling <laughs> making sure that each of the photos and journaling pieces are lined up to the al alignment or the angle um, that each of the black cardstock tags have and I'm putting my little tag booklets together with my four bits of photos and journaling um, and then yeah once that is done this is really and truly the end of the spread so I really loved working on this foundation page and this reflective story for day number four it has been a great journey because i decided to focus my journaling on four things i wanted to remember about my son right now because he just turned one year old and so christmas last year when he was a newborn to christmas this year is quite different he's quite active and I just wanted to spend some time to slow down and focus on some of the things that he is doing right now that is unique to this age. Um, you know, he's crawling around, he's walking around, he's pulling at the ornaments and whatnot. Yesterday he pulled down the little Christmas tree in the foyer, so I'm definitely going to have to move that. <laughs> and so just those types of things, everyday moments that sometimes we tend to miss um, in the busyness of December. And so I really love just focusing that and then I look forward to tomorrow, which is day five, and uh, having that spread focus on five gifts in our lives right now so thank you so very much for joining me for today's video i really 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 and truly appreciate having you here and spending this time with me every day as i create my december daily pages please um, like this video subscribe to my channel and comment below if there are any questions that you have and if you'd like to see more of my pages or what i'm up to feel free to also check out my instagram page so here's the final page and what it looks like with the journaling 
and uh, the photos added and I can close up my album and call this done.